towed in. Uh, Woohoo! Um, South Florida saltwater fishing. I'm Heath and it is a super chilly Sunday. And that means we're going out fishing. You, you're coming with us. All right, everybody say good morning to South Florida fishing girl, Bella. And this is her friend, Emily. Emily is visiting us from Virginia. We're gonna take her out today and uh, hopefully put her on some giant fish. Before we get into this though, do us a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Give this video a like. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. On the agenda today, first order of business is we're gonna go out, we're gonna hit a wreck. Most likely the hydro. We're gonna try to put Emily on the fish of a lifetime. Create a memory that she can go back bragging about, telling her friends, hey, I was on this YouTube channel. All that goodness. Then uh, we're gonna play it by ear, see what the conditions are like, figure out what else we can go do. Then lastly, we're gonna take these two girls and bring them to pull the crab traps. They have never done that. Always first for everything. Hopefully we All catch right, a lot. We gotta give a big shout out to Mad Fish Gear. They were awesome enough to send the South Florida fishing girl this hoodie, and they gave us a decal to throw on the boat. Uh, they're great folks. Uh, we won a little giveaway and they've hooked us up. We're gonna put a link to Mad Fish Gear down below in the descriptions. Go visit their website. They got everything. They got food spices. What? They got fishing gear, rods and reels. They got apparel like these, uh, the Look, hoodies. They got, super soft. they got little beanies. They got hats. They got everything. It, so soft it's, inside. You like that? Yeah, it's really soft. Like I said, go visit them on their website. I'm going to put a link below. They're also on Facebook. They're on Twitter. And they're on Instagram. All right, everybody. You know what time it is. Let's do this. Hydro, I want to talk a little bit about wreck fishing before we get into it. Um, what you need to do is first you need to make sure that you find your wreck. So as you can see, my fish finder, this is our wreck. It's a relief structure that sticks up about 30 feet from the water. Now you don't want to be so eager to just find your wreck and uh, drop your, your bait in because uh, you could end up having to go reset if you're drifting especially. If you're bottom fishing the wreck, you want to be ahead of the wreck, figure out which way your current's going. That way you're either drifting over the wreck onto it, or you're you're ahead of the wreck and your bait and your chum is going into the wreck as you fish. Then you can drop down to the bottom and get it. This will uh, make it so you're not consistently resetting or you're getting uh, what you came for. All right, so we're gonna drop out of bait and see what we can get. Uh, Emily with her first fish. Good one on the wreck. Took a little bit to hook up, but here she is. Yeah. Nothing like visiting and getting you a good fish. I'm here. All right, so once we get the sinker up, we're gonna wanna stop and I'm gonna hand line them in because our leader's about 20 feet, okay? Are you cold? Yep. All right. Does he feel big? I don't know, not anymore. Not anymore? All right, well, we'll see. Feel like he's still on there? Yeah. All right. All right, he's coming up. He's actually swimming out because we were way back there where the wreck was. So he's going to be like up on the top of the water. He's trying to swim away. Yeah, that's oh. what they do. Yep, yeah. yeah. he's out there. He's out there. Where, where your line is, way out there. You keep reeling him in. Oh, you okay? Yep. There you go. You wanna put the rod in the rod holder? Yeah. All right, here we go. That's what we're gonna do. All right, here you go, reel. You wanna keep that line tight on it. 
Yeah. All right, there you go. Up uh, oh, here he comes. He's coming in. Whoa. Oh, we got a cobia. Emily got a cobia. Here he comes. Bring him on. All right, stop reeling. Okay. Look at this. All right. Here's what I'm gonna have to do. It does look like a baby shark. Here he comes. You're a star now. To follow the uh, FWC regulations, cobia, when you catch them, have to be 33 inches from the tip of their snout to the fork of their tail. This particular guy just so happens to be about 35 inches long, which is just barely legal, but as we say, man, those are the delicious ones, the juveniles. And uh, our visiting friend, Emily, is the fish slayer of the day. We got Bella, South Florida fishing girl, tied on a fish. Wait, wait, wait. All right, there you go. There you go, real. Get him in. Ooh. Yeah, he's pull. Oh yeah, he's big, come on, pull. There you go, you know what to do. This ain't your first rodeo. Get them on up. We're gonna see what we got. A good fit. Oh yeah, man. Look at him bending that reel, man. He don't want to come up. There you go. Don't worry about spooling on the line. I'll take care of that. Oh man, look at that rod bend, man. <laughs> this is how we do it. Here he comes. I see him. Oh yeah. Good African. We're gonna have to let him go though, because he's too small. Yeah. Yep. African pompano. We got Bella with a nice African pompano. Second fish off the wreck, off the hydro. You can pick it up. Yeah. All right, hold on to it up here with this hand. Oh All right, real. Oh. oh my god, I dropped my phone. I am not kidding. Shoot, no. <laughs> All right. Son. You want me to pull that anchor? Yes, sir. We're ready for you. Up. there's the boat this is why it's important to have insurance like that for towing i have boat us there's several of them there's sea tow there's all sorts of different goodies luckily i have it they're going to bring us in hopefully fuel is the problem we're going to find that out shortly eh, it's been one heck of a day after some minor delay fixing the technical difficulties we are back out on the water ah, yeah boat ran out of fuel dropped an iphone but we're heading back out gonna finish out the day hopefully get a look uh some bait uh some bait fish for the crab traps i want to wish merry christmas and a happy new year to all of our extended family nini Grandma Becky, Grandma Marilyn, my dad, my whole family, my wife, Abby, Chloe, Bijou, Bella. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm gonna troll around with my favorite jig, this pro jig. 
Let's see if we can catch something. So, when I'm ready to do this, I get up to about, I'm doing about 1200 RPMs right now. I'll probably pick up speed once I get it out. All we gotta do is control the road jig and cast it out. Fairly easy. I'm gonna go in and troll off the reef. Right now I'm on my ledge, so I'm in a little deep. But by the time I get them out, they'll be good to go. And I got another one. Like I said, I got rods dedicated for these things. Benita. All right. Just gotta make sure my drag set good. Pulling. Get him away from the motor. There we go. Bullet. I'm gonna save him for a uh, crab trap bait. So the afternoon trip was uh, fairly uneventful, but it was still a good time on the water. We trolled around for a little bit, caught a couple of bonitas, slow trolled him. What did anything going on? So, we're at that point. I'm going to head, get my stone crab trap, check and see if we got anything. We're coming up to our first trap and see if we got anything. Looks like you got a catfish in this one. Yeah. We'll pull our second trap. It's right on the other side of this piling. Let's see if that guy got anything other than catfish. Crab in this one, and a bunch of catfish. You got to be careful because their claws are really powerful. So, keeper claw is two and three quarters. Of course, he's trying to jab, cut through my glove now. This is how you do this without hurting the crab. Blam, it breaks off and now he can regrow his claw. So we have one claw, good to go.
found out. There's four crab in here. So, I know that this one is small. I can just tell it by looking at it. Again. The claw has to be two and three quarters from here to here. Which this one most definitely is. So, I've got a very short claw and a keeper claw. To get the claw out, you're going to pinch that. You're going to stick your knife in here. You're going to kind of wiggle it around. Should pop out. Oh, and there we go. Now, what you've done is you preserved the claw so he can regrow it and he's not going to die. He's going back in. We're going to pop it in there, wiggle the knife around, the claw falls off, the crab falls down to the ground. Happy crab, big keeper claw. Alright, there we go. Those are nice keeper stone crab claws. This trap is definitely going right back to where I got it from. today to say the least we hope to see you for our tips and tricks Thursday I'm gonna go over exactly how to properly harvest stone crab claws without killing them all right folks hope you enjoy till next time South Florida saltwater fishing going wherever the cool wind takes us Just to let you know that I did not forget what day it is, Merry Christmas.